Hey guys, and welcome on back to Building with Whip. Today we are in Papyrus and it is episode 90. So this episode here is a little bit of a filler episode as I'm kind of getting used to the new job. So I don't think we'll be doing a comment or question of the day in here, but yeah, so we're gonna do a lot of cool work in this episode. We're gonna be doing some planning here around this new area that we're gonna be working on over the next few episodes. I'm thinking up in Papyrus, which is right here, this little spot. So where'd that husk go? There was a husk right there, wasn't there? I don't, oh, no, maybe he's probably dead. I don't know, maybe he disappeared. But yeah, so the plan is I wanna go ahead and create like a little recessed farming area down in here. So I wanna go ahead and create like a wall, kind of a barrier wall right here, drop the land down to the water level, and then kind of get it all planned out for where there's gonna be a few little farming areas, a little maybe like a boat launch or something for a tiny lake. Um, and we could have like a little sailboat in there or something in the future. And then this guy right here is gonna basically be a wall that's going to come down this way. And I've decided I want to start turning it in right here. So I wanna go, I'm thinking right here for now, like right basically along this crevice line. And I was gonna bring it across here, but I also don't wanna ruin this guy. So maybe we actually are gonna bring it out around and come down this way and just bring it straight down here to the water and then kind of go straight over that way. But I kind of like the rounded look for this style of a wall or desert city thing that I'm thinking of in the future. I don't really wanna go with that typical desert square look that we're kind of going with all the buildings. I feel like a rounded wall would actually really help out the area. Before I blab on too much here, I think what we're gonna do, so you guys can get a general idea of what the train's gonna be looking like, I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and kick this off into time-lapse mode and actually level out the train, get the little barrier walls in, and then go from there and we'll start planning out where the houses and the farming stuff and all that good stuff will be. So I will see you guys on the other side of this year time lapse. All right, guys, welcome back to our majorly smoothed out area here. I had a really great time doing that time lapse. Got some Girl Scout cookies and decided to just start munching on those and having a good time eating some cookies, playing some Minecraft. Cannot complain at all right now. So I know for the U.S. guys that we got here, 
What's your favorite type of Girl Scout cookie? I don't know, are they in Europe also? Can you guys get them over there? Cause these things are freaking amazing. What's your guys' favorite type? I've been munching on some tagalongs today, the peanut butter ones. Oh man, those things are delicious. Anyways, now to get to the important stuff. I wanna walk you guys through kind of how I go about planning an area. So we're gonna plan this whole area right over here. Then we're gonna plan the area right over there as well, which is a little bit smaller. And I didn't finish off the wall because I just don't know where it's gonna go off to. And of course it's nighttime. So we're gonna have to sleep here in just a second. But I got a bunch of netherrack in hand because it's a really super fast block to break. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of do use that right here. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of create a bunch of little spots like this where we can kind of just show the base shape of a house. We're gonna one, two, three, four, five, bring this over. So if we went three on this guy and just kind of kept it in there, that'd be cool. Then what if we came over and brought you out to say like right here or something like that? Yeah, just kind of getting a little bit extra space in there. We're gonna go sleep here real quick. The plan here though is to kind of have a cool little farming area, kind of a lower, lower end, like economic level. So a little bit of a poorer community down here. We're gonna have a bunch of cool little houses, windmills, things like that. The thing we gotta be careful with the windmills is how we're gonna do the walls over there. Uh, with how tall those are, we still gotta make sure that the windmill can at least like get, catch some wind. It's not just hidden behind a wall. So that's kind of important. So the idea behind this guy though, is I wanted to have this, open this up into a little lake right here and maybe put like, I don't know, just a little fishing boat in the middle for no reason at all. Uh, then down here, we're gonna kinda just jump around on this guy for a little bit. Down here though, I wanna go ahead and add a bridge going across it right in through this area, kind of a little bit of a diagonal bridge. And I think kinda is the word of the month for these episodes. I think that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so we'll have a bit of a diagonal bridge right there that should work pretty well. Then I wanted the road to come up in this direction and go around back into this area. So we just have kind of one road looping through the whole area. We can have a little spin-offs of it, but for the most part, I want to have houses on both sides of it. So we'll give it a little bit of space from that little wall that we built back there, the retaining wall. And then we'll go ahead and bring it in right there. So what this allows us to do is in the center area, we're gonna go ahead and do another house or something in this area right in here which we can say do i don't know like in that how long is that one two three four five six let's bring that out to seven and we can just have this nice little and ghost block lovely uh we can have this nice little skinny long one right there then that'll border up actually to where a major field area is going to be so this, uh, did we bring anything else? We have some leaves, so we can actually line the field here with the leaves. So I wanna go ahead and have a farming area actually in this side going, yeah, this, is, this should be a good shape. So right through here, we're gonna go ahead and have some crops and things planted, like a little wheat fields and stuff like that. Uh, we might divide it up and have a few melon something or another in here. My reason behind this is I kinda wanna throw like a melon and pumpkin farm over in this area. I know we have our stupid little one, uh, for pumpkins over in White Glen, but I kind of wanted to get one that's a little bit stronger. The eventual goal here is actually to be able to build up and get some villager farms and things like that going. So maybe underneath this area, we go ahead and do some automatic villager farms after a while. I don't know, that's, that's my overall plan, get unlimited food, you know, the usual goal of automate everything. And we're kind of keeping it all in papyrus. So I don't know, maybe we even throw some villagers down in this area and make it kind of secure. So you actually have to like, open a specific gate or something to get into here. But yeah, that's kind of the plan right now. So I was thinking over in this area, cause the road's gonna be coming through here. We're gonna go ahead and do like a little market stand right in this area or something like that. So to signify that, I'm just gonna do that little wall right there. There's no rhyme or reason really how I do the shapes on these. It's just kind of whatever makes sense at the time. So I wanna do in this area right here, this is where I envision doing a little bit of a windmill. And the design I'm thinking of, I don't know if you guys play Age of Empires, but if you play Age of Empires 2 or you go up and look Age of Empires 2 windmills, um, there's a really, really cool one that they do for the Arabic uh, and civilizations that you can play or Arabic teams, whatever you want to call them, that is has a very tall windmill blade. And then instead of it being kind of like our usual design where it's like that T-shape or whatever you want to call it, it actually kind of builds up around it and the blades rotate around the side. So they kind of 
and this is gonna look really dumb and not gonna make any sense at all, but they kind of rotate and spin around the side of it. So it's this big pillar with big sheets around it, I guess you could call it, and the wind will catch on those and spin the whole thing, and then down at the bottom there's a grindstone. I really wanna try making one of those in uh, survival and see if we can't get some cool design going on. So I was thinking this area could be a good spot for the mill. It's gonna be rather big, because again, we need to get over the wall, but I figure a design like this will allow the wind, at least if it's, say, like the wall is pretty tall over here, the wind's coming in that direction. I feel like something that is this tall, or that'll be like this more of a vertical design instead of the uh, typical like side of a building windmill or whatever, side of the mill or whatever we wanna call it. I feel like the way I wanna do it here will actually help us out a lot more uh, with getting that extra height on it. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we want to go ahead and bring you down into this area. It's okay if we cut into the farming region. Again, this is all just kind of blueprint, blueprints and plans and all that good stuff. So I was thinking the windmill could go right in here, but I want to, it's probably going to end up being a little bit larger. So we, we'd probably have the blade like going something right up in like that out of that area, or maybe we go ahead and actually move it up out of that corner right there then that'll allow us to kick this side out over here a little bit more. So let's go one, two, three, and then bam, 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 like that. And then we can come in on this side and count in another three and boom, and bring that stuff all the way out there. And that should allow us just to get a little bit more space and add a little bit more interest to this guy. I'm thinking I'll probably change the shape up a lot later on, but that's the general idea for it. And then we just bring the road around it a little bit wider. And it's totally fine. So we just kind of move the road as we work through these areas. That's everything in these playing stages. The reason we're using netherrack is because it's not permanent and we can literally get rid of things whenever we want. So we got this nice little stall down here, right? Then we need to come in and add a few more houses. I want to get like seven to 10 houses in this area, uh, both sides that is. So seven to 10 in total, not seven to 10 on each side. Um, but so that's the general idea. Let's see, that's five right there. so we got to do this and get it three and then i'm thinking we go ahead and i don't really care about how much how close it gets to that wall i don't want it to be built into that thing but i feel like it'd be okay connecting them a little bit and kind of having them go up we don't need to have like a little alleyway or anything back here like there's no point to really walk back in this area might throw some like hidden storage things back there or something like that or maybe even like a private little garden so actually yeah that'd be a good idea what if we went like through here and we brought you out and let's make that a little skinny because we don't need a big pathway through here it's just going to be kind of the surfs walking through this area we don't need to worry about like royal carts or things getting through here so we can have a little skinny but say we bring that back into a little kind of gardeny area. Maybe somebody has a little private farm that they have hidden away back here that you can kind of peer down from there, that area and see. I want to be able to fit in some trees back here as well to kind of add to that really big nature-y environment that we're going with. So that's kind of where we're at with all this. So let's see, that's one, two, three. Then we can go ahead and yeah, I want it to be five. And then let's bring it out here. Is that literally the same shape as that one? It kind of is. It kind of is. Maybe we go ahead and actually just have you going straight across right here and do like a really small one. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we can bring this guy back in here. And then we go ahead and have another entrance back into that area right here and in the corner, cause it's a little bit of a bigger spot. We can go ahead and throw like a merchant's house or something back here. Maybe some rich dude actually lives in this area and kind of controls the people. It's like the appointed official by the royal family of over there is some dude who oversees this area so maybe we give him a little bit bigger of an area uh, for him to live in he could have like a little private corridors area so let's see one two three four four five six seven and like ah uh, no i i think i'm gonna bring this wall down and kick it out a little bit like there so we don't want to get too close to it kind of like how we did on this one just supporting it from the base but I think because this guy, the whole base will probably be coming out. So let's go ahead and bring you down to like there. Then we can go ahead and kind of bring it all over. Hey, look, that lines up perfectly. But you guys can kind of see the general idea. We can almost start getting rid of this road because we have that general idea of where it's going to be going through. It makes a lot more sense. We can get rid of that for now. I do want to go ahead and add like a little dock or something right out here because I was talking about that raft. I know we're jumping over all, of, all over the place here. But you guys should be able to get my general thought process off of this, I hope. 
I don't know if I sound just insane. This is how I plan things, and you guys constantly ask me how to plan things, so this is how I do it. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, so we got that build right there. We got that one. So let's see. We got a mill. We got house one. We got a we got a little tent. We got house two, house three, house four. And then let's go back in this area and add in something that could be this. Actually, no. Let's do another house right here. I was going to say I want to add somewhere for like some mules or something like that to live. But now that we have like that merchant house or that's the goal of having a merchant house right in that area, I don't really want to be doing a big mule area right through here just because I feel like he'd be pretty uh, not okay with having smelly, smelly mules right next to his uh, fancy, fancy house. So let's see right there. We're going to have a really skinny corridor. Probably won't be able to get through it. So we'll have one, two, three, then we'll kick this out in one, two, three, four, five, and like that. So we're making a little bit of like a longer house. Maybe we put two doors on this guy. Um, and then we can go ahead and just do something like that. A little bit of an angled house. So we can have maybe like what a door right there and door right there and have little condos or something. I don't know. We'll make it up as we go because that's how we do everything. Yay. But yeah, so there we go. We can throw a door on that guy. We can throw the door right there for you. Then this guy down here. We can, I don't know, just the door right there. That works. So you guys can, it's, we spent a whole day now doing all this stuff. That's pretty good. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't really know. Let me go ahead and finish up this last little area real quick, guys, and then I'll sleep the night away and I'll show you guys what we finished up. All right, guys, welcome back. So I finished up kind of laying out this area here. Hey, there's another kind of. Uh, so we got this little house right there. These pillars that we have, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. They're gonna be little trees, or not little trees, but palm trees. I kinda wanna have palm trees lining this path. Hey, there was another one. Um, then back here, we're gonna have a nice little diagonal house. And then I figured we'd set up a tent here for like supplies and things for the fields. So there can be like farming tools and things like that. Then we'll have another one over here just kind of for getting out of the sun and for the workers to kind of sit and relax and, and just not really be in the, in the, I don't know, in the sun. Yep, that, that, that thing right there, that big old square thing is in this guy, the fiery square ball. Uh, but yeah, so I went ahead and decided that I wanted to throw another little field in here. So we'll have as whatever the, whatchamacallit, the big wall lines with, we'll have the field basically coming out to that. And then also on the other side over here, we'll be doing the same thing. I figured that'd be kind of a cool idea for just getting all that stuff to work out. So for here though, we want to take this road basically right up along this guy right here, and I wanted to bring it just basically right down the middle of this. It's gonna, actually, no. We're gonna go ahead and have it coming out that direction. The reason for this is I wanna go ahead and do another, another house right in this area, kind of a decent sized one. So maybe something, let's see, that's five right there. That's still five, yep, that is. So one, two, three, four, five. Wow, I feel really laggy right now. One, two, three, four, five, and then bring it off this way and maybe do like a big old square one and we can have like an outcropping maybe to like right there or something for some staircase or something to get up to the sec to a second level. That could be kind of cool to mix up the shape with it. Then what I wanted to do back here, because we have that windmill right there, I want to throw another one in. So first and foremost, we have that little dock right there and I want to do a diagonal one to it. So basically directly across the water. So I want to throw another one in right there. Thought that could be kind of cool for a way to mix things up, all that good stuff. So we have that windmill right there. And I'm thinking right in this area will probably be a good spot for another one. So let's see, we want to go ahead and give it a bunch of space here. So that right there is going to be where our blade goes up. And let's see, can we, I'm thinking we basically just go ahead and cut off that whole side right there and fill in this whole area with it. So let's see, that's one, two, three. So that goes seven. And then we're out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're going to basically create identical structures just so it kind of has some uniformity to the area. We might do a little bit of a mix up down at the base, but overall I think it'll be a pretty uniform structure. Then back in this area, we'll probably turn it into some trees and some awesome little like greenery area or something like that. Maybe throw some more acacia trees in here, uh, mix in like a palm tree or two and just do something like that. Get four. I, I like doing an odd number of trees. So we're going to do five. We're going to do five trees or we're only going to add two in. I don't know. We'll do some acacia trees. So those guys will be quicker, but that's kind of what I'm thinking overall for to the design of this guy, except we have this whole space right here. So let's plan to do another little house right like 
this right here, which means we got to bump you back a little bit right there. And then that'll give us a nice little three by three space right that. That is sand, not netherrack. And right there, then we go ahead and bring this guy out like this. And we can give it, yeah, just another little two. So that makes it a little five, five long house. Works, works out great. That gives us a cool little spot right there. Then we can go ahead and obviously do another tree right back in this area. I know this design probably doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. Um, let's do another plan for another tree right here. And then for good measure, let's go and get a third tree right in there. This is going to be an awesome little spot. I'm really pumped to build on this area. I think it's going to be super fun. So let's count these trees real quick. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have an odd or an even number over here. We got this nice little dock right in this area. So we're going to throw in our odd number seven right there. And I think that should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of a fly up into the sky so you guys can see a little bit more of what I'm talking about. We might actually be able to land on this area. It should give a nice little overview. Not working out very well. Let's see right there. And yeah, no, that's, we have these towers right here. Why are we not landing on the towers? And also game laggy, why? Okay, I like this. I like it a lot. I think it's perfect. We're gonna leave it as is. Netherrack structures everywhere. I think it's a great idea. Um, no. Uh, you guys got the general idea of what I'm kind of getting at with this one. This episode is, though, guys, I'm, I did pre-record this one just kind of to give myself a little bit extra time as I'm adjusting to the new, new work schedule. So there's no comment or question of the day today because of that. Be, be sure to let me know down in the comments what you guys think about all this stuff. If you guys have any suggestions on things we can change up in this area, that would be awesome to hear your guys thoughts on all of it i'm excited to be back in papyrus for a little bit i think it's gonna be fun we got that whole area right out there to be working on we got the big walls over there to be planning out and finishing up so i think we'll probably be working on maybe that little section of the walls in the next episode but anyways guys thank you so much for watching please hit that like button if you did enjoy hit that subscribe button if you're new and you guys want to see more of what's going on here on the channel and i will catch you guys on the flip side